So I'm replacing a handle for uh, one of my saw sharpening customers um, and I thought it would be a good opportunity for me to, to give you a quick demonstration on how I get the handle holes lined up in the new handle blank. Um, if you've watched the Wensloff Panel Saw podcast, um, you've seen me make a handle and then use the handle to mark the hole locations on the saw plate and then drill the saw plate so that everything lines up well. When you're working with old saws, things are a little bit different. They can be a little bit more challenging. Um, the holes are already drilled in the saw plate, so we've got to get the holes transferred to the new handle. Um, seems straightforward at first glance, but um, there's one or two ways that it can really, uh, you know, can, you can really get stuck and, and kind of screw up the handle and end up having to start over. So um, I figured I'd take this opportunity and show you how I go about marking out the new handle so that I can make sure I get those holes lined up perfectly with the old saw plate. All right, so after I get the handle blank, the new handle blank stock prepped, um, I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna lay out the shape of the new handle. I'll put the old handle, use the old handle as a template. Now obviously if you don't have an old handle to use as a template, um, you'll just use, you know, a picture of an old handle, paper template, whatever you have. So I'll go ahead and, you know, just trace the handle template around the old handle or put on a new handle template. Um, then, with, without moving it, after I have that handle template traced, I'll take a brad point drill bit. These seem to work best for me. Um, something that's about the same size as the hole that's in the old handle. And I'll put that brad point drill bit through there and uh, push it down. Just kind of give it a push to mark the, the center point of that hole. And by using a brad point that's the same size or very close to the same size of the hole, it's sort of self-centering. So you just kind of push it down in there and mark that hole. Now an important thing that you want to do after you go ahead and mark those holes with the handle, you want to make sure you check it against the saw plate. You want to make sure that the holes are going to line up with the saw plate because sometimes the holes in the handles or especially in the older handles are a little worn out. So if you've got any that are off a little bit, you want to make sure you line them up with the saw plate. Make sure that the holes are going to line up with the holes in the saw plate, not so much the handle. We use the handle as a rough guide and then we finish off by making sure the saw plate lines up right. Now here's the tricky part. A lot of folks will take those marks um, and I think you can probably um, see I've already marked these holes out. Okay, so I've already marked these four holes. Now a lot of folks will go ahead and take a small drill bit like this little sixteenth inch drill bit and go ahead and drill these holes even you know on a drill press or whatever and drill them all the way through to mark the opposite side because remember when you have saw bolts like this you've got to mark both sides because you've got to drill recesses for the bolt heads the problem with running a thin drill bit like this all the way through the stock is that you're very likely that this bit is going to bend or wander as you're drilling through and the holes aren't going to line up. So what I've found is the best way is to actually transfer the locations of these tiny little pin holes to the other side of the blank. So I'll take a square and you need to make sure that this edge of your handle blank um, is, is good and straight when you do this. Take a square, transfer that mark up, transfer this hole mark up, transfer this hole up, and transfer this hole up. So do all four of those. Transfer those lines across the end of the blank, and then 
transfer them down the other side. Once you have those parts marked, you can take a marking gauge and set it to the center point. Put the marking gauge right in that hole that you made with the brad point bit. Lock it, flip it, and then go ahead and transfer that hole mark to that side. Come over here, do the next one. Same thing. Go ahead and set the gauge to the right, to the hole location on this side. Flip the stock over and go ahead and mark the hole on this side. Now, after doing all four of those, you have those uh, center of the hole marked on either side. And now you can go ahead, take your Forstner bits, take um, your um, paddle bits or whatever you're going to use to drill the recesses for the bolt heads. And you can go ahead and drill those bolt heads out and then drill the through hole for the screws and everything should line up just perfectly. And once the uh, holes are all bored, you can go ahead and saw out the general shape of the, the saw handle and then just smooth the outside edges up with rasps, files, spoke shaves, scrapers, uh, whatever you got. And then once the outside is smooth, you can use a marking gauge to mark the location for the saw plate and then go ahead and use another saw to saw out the slot for the plate to fit into. And once you have the uh, slot sawn for the blade, then you can go ahead and fit it. Make sure all your holes line up, test fit all your saw bolts. Um, and once you're sure everything fits right, you can then take it off and go ahead and finish the shaping on the handle. Um, if by chance you were off a little bit, um, if it's just a tiny little bit and you can take a chainsaw file to the holes in the saw plate, widen them out just a touch. Um, but if you're off by a, a lot, if you, you, know, you, you transferred your marks wrong or your drill bit wandered or for whatever reason, um, it's best to start over again with a new blank. I know it's a sort of a pain um, and a lot of work, but that's sort of why uh, I drill the holes in the square blank before I go and do any shaping. Um, and then I'll cut it out and just smooth out the outside edges here um, just so I can have a good good area for marking and I don't go and do too much work on the rest of it so um, you know so that if I do mess it up I can start over again and I don't have that much work invested in it but uh, but that's it so hope that helps you thanks for watching